one of the things that has come up in the news recently was uh, the risk for earthquake in the northwest and Portland area and we were kind of concerned. We had had a new daughter and uh, wanted the house to be safe for everybody. So I started reading about things on the internet and researching and eventually um, found Michael at Northwest Seismic. This is actually a, a common scenario and something that people don't take into account. This house is fairly new. It was built, I believe, in the late 90s. But, uh, and it was built to code. But code is designed to allow the occupants to safely exit the building in a moderate earthquake. That's not why people call me. So here we've got a soft story situation. We've got living space above a garage. So we've got three walls of the garage have plywood or sheet rock or something to provide that shear strength. But with these large openings, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing to provide that shear. In this house, what we had to do was reinforce the second story um, without covering the opening with plywood. So we did that by uh, opening up the garage floor, um, setting a steel beam in place, or a column, I guess is, is a vertical column. We tie it to the floor diaphragm above. We uh, use rebar to construct a rebar cage, tie that into both sides of the foundation and to the beam itself and fill that trench with concrete. Everything went very smoothly. Um, I was very happy with the communication and the work at every step of the way. Um, and even the finished product, while I feel like it's functionally almost like a tank, it was cosmetically excellent too and retained all the function that I needed um, to even uh, use it, uh, use my garage as I had before.